Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer and in this video we will work with grid list component from Angular Material. Through this video I will show you how can you create, use and customize grid list component. Now before we start, did you know that only around 8% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel? So please make sure to subscribe as I am posting new videos weekly. Now let's start the video. As with all other components, we will create a specific component for this grid list as well. So here I will use a command of ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will generate my component in components slash grid list folder. Once the component is generated, we can, well, use it in our app component HTML file. First of all, I will hide this form field component from the last video. If you wish to watch that video, you will have a link down in the description of this one. And after that, I will use a comment, first of all, of grid list. Then I will set my app grid list that I just created, the component itself. And I will also use an ending comment, which is end of grid list. If you wish to use a grid list component from material, well, you will need to import the corresponding module for it. So here in my imports, first of all, I will move my component that I just generated to a top. And here we can now import. I will import here mat grid list module. And we will need to import that from at angular slash material slash grid list. One thing to notice, this mad grid list module, I need to first of all use it properly, uh, also need to be passed in imports array, so down below. Now we can open up our components uh, folder and grid list here. I will open up HTML and TypeScript file for this. You see, this grid list component is highly customizable. Well, we can set different columns, rows, uh, well, we could customize it as we wish. One of the ways to customize this grid list is directly through property binding, so that is why we will use a TypeScript here as well. For example, here I can create the tiles property and I will set this to be an array. And this array could hold object for a specific tile. Each tile here in a tiles array will present one of the, well, blocks in our grid list. So for example, to customize it, I will first of all set the text for my grid list block which can be one uh, through letters or just a number. Then here I will use uh, calls for columns. And here I could set like three columns. So this style will take three columns. Also rows for this will be, for example, one. So this style will take one rows, three columns. And let's maybe also customize color itself. Well, a background color. Uh, I will use just uh, the words here like light blue. And now let's copy this three more times to have like, well, four tiles, one, two, three. So we have uh, four tiles here. So the text for the second one will be two, then three and four. The column columns, I will change those like three, then one, then one and two, for example. And rows could be, for example, one, two, one, one. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's also change the colors as well. So we could see different tiles once we render those on our grid list. So light blue, then light uh, green, then I will use light pink. And let's use, I don't know, like a light red. So now as we have these tiles, we will use those to customize our grid list. Well, you see the grid list will offer this layout to us. This layout is similar to Bootstrap or CSS grid or Flexbox. So material have their own. And as we are using material here, we are, we are able to customize it as we wish. So in my HTML here, if I wish to create the grid list, I will use mat grid list element. And this element could hold, for example, different columns, and also maybe even row and row height. So I will set here columns. I will set that my grid list will spread through four columns. And I will also specify my row height, which will specify the height for each of the rows. And this will be, for example, 100 pixel. As we have these tiles now, this property of tiles, we are also able to use mat grid tile, which will present one tile. So obviously we won't have only one tile, but here we will set up directive of ng4 and we will loop through all of our tiles that we have here. 
So, here to loop I will set let of tile, well let tile of tiles, and now that I'm looping through in each of my tiles I will render, well property bind here, my tile, then text inside that I have. Also you know that we have these columns and rows, to property bind those, well here we can set call span, and this call span will be set to tile, then calls, and also we will have row span, let's bind this row span, and here we could set this row span to tile dot rows. I will break this down a bit so you could see it better, like this. And also you know that we have this color which should represent the background color. So here I will property bind here like style dot background and here I will set the background to be the color of tile dot color. And that's pretty much it. This is the simple example of, well, grid list. So on my screen right now we could see one, two, three and four. So yes, indeed, we do have our grid list here with specific columns and rows as we passed. Also here there is no light red color, so we will need to change that a bit. I will go back into my code. Now back in my code, first of all, I will remove this light red because there is an issue. I will just set the gray color here and I will also customize this row height. Well, let's just change the value here, for example, to 400 pixel. So now here we can already see a difference. Well, yeah, we do have this uh, background color of gray, but also each of our rows is 400 in height. And as our second tile is taking two rows, it will spread through both of those. So the height of this tile will be 800 pixel. So by this, you can see how easy it is to set up your grid list with uh, material and also customize it as you wish. But this is pretty much it. If you didn't know, this video belongs to an Angular Material series. So if you wish to watch the whole series where we are exploring all the components and also CDK from Angular Material, well, you will have a link to that playlist down below. Now also, did you know that only around 8% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my channel? If you are not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe as I am posting new tutorials weekly. Thank you once again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.